Tonight, we're looking at a major drought that is threatening one of the world's most important shipping routes. The Panama Canal connects the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean, saving time and billions of dollars. CBS News senior national environmental correspondent Ben Tracy went to the canal to see how a lack of rainfall has led to a crisis. The Panama Canal is one of the world's most successful shortcuts. About $270 billion of trade each year rides on this ribbon of water, leaving very little room for error. Panama is the route. Boris Moreno is the canal's vice president of operations. I've never walked across the Panama Canal. Yeah, it's an experience. He says two-thirds of canal traffic is either coming from or going to the United States. But that flow of goods is now at risk because this 50-mile-long system of locks and lakes that connects two oceans is actually above sea level and doesn't run on ocean water. No, it's fresh water from our, our lake, Gatun Lake, that's uh, man-made. So you are reliant on rainfall? Yes. And generally in Panama, that happens. It's one of the wettest countries in the world. But this year has been an unprecedented dry season. Our lake levels are close to the minimum. Severe drought is drying up the lakes that feed the canal, plunging water levels so low they've had to cut the number of vessels passing through from 36 to 32 per day, delaying goods and creating a growing waiting room of ships out at sea. Some vessels are also being forced to carry up to 40% less cargo and slow down so they don't hit bottom. Antonio Dominguez is a managing director for shipping giant Maersk, the largest single user of the canal. He's worried Christmas merchandise could be impacted if the drought drags on and shippers are forced to use longer routes. Your industry is a big contributor to climate change. Yes. Climate change is making a drought like this worse. Yeah. Do you have a responsibility to address this problem? Of course. We need to move faster. It's not a time to start wondering what to do. It's a time for action. Time for action is now. Because in shipping lanes like the Panama Canal, time is also money. Ben Tracy, CBS News.